Hello, I'm Zach from World of Game Design, and I'm here to help you determine if Morkborg is the game for you. I've both played tabletop games for years, and I've run a lot of systems. Hopefully this little video will get you the answers you need. Help you decide if you should play the game. Well, let's make it happen. What is Morkborg? From Free League, the publisher of the game's own mouth, Morkborg is a doom metal album of a game, a spiked flail to the face, light on rules, heavy on everything else. Morkborg is a pitch black apocalyptic fantasy RPG about lost souls and fools seeking redemption, forgiveness, or the last remaining riches in a bleak and dying world. What other games is Morkborg like? Well, First and foremost, I think we can make the comparison to Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. This is D20 based and has the same base mechanics for things like skill checks and ability scores. Um, you're going to feel right at home. Simpler version, but very similar. Should be easy to pick up if you're familiar with that. It's also very familiar, uh, very reminiscent of other OSR gaming like Dungeon Crawl Classics, OSE, any sort of retro D&D clones, and it should. It uses the same uh, D20 license and has the same ideals for things like challenge over balance. Uh, so those are two comparisons that you can make if you're familiar with either one of those. You're going to find Morkborg to be very much to your wheelhouse. So if you like the following elements, you should play Morkborg. If you like dark fantasy, bare bones mechanics, heavy themes of religion, the apocalypse, end of days in general, or if you like plain, twisted, broken, desperate characters. These are the hallmarks of a great Mork board game. If you don't like those elements or these next ones, you probably shouldn't play Mork board. Probably not your cup of tea. Uh, character death is another thing we'll add in there. Your characters are going to die a lot. That's a turnoff for some people. Uh, random tables for everything. I'm not exaggerating here. Half of this book is tables. You're going to be rolling on a ton of tables for character creation. When you run most of the adventures, everything centers around that. Big deal. Uh, also, heavy occult graphic content. Um, not necessarily R-rated for a lot of it, but very... Um, not appropriate for your church picnic. We'll put it that way. Uh, along with that, dark, depressing themes. The setting and presentation is of a world on the black brink of apocalypse, and you aren't likely to play a hero. That's not going to be for everyone. Stay away if that's your if that's not your cup of tea. If you really are certain those are things that you don't want in your gaming, best to stay away. Let's move on to our currency score. Out of 25 possible points, or 25 pieces of currency, how much is Morkborg going to score? Let's start with ease of access. Ease of access is how easy is it for me to learn this system? I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Um, the book layout really is what bumps it down from a 5 to 5, because this isn't a difficult system to master, um, but the book is a little bit chaotic. So, 3 out of 5 silver for that. Uh, as far as the content goes, meaning the core book content, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Full marks. Uh, basically, I'm going to give it that because it has a full package, including a bestiary and an adventure right out the gate. Everything you need to run is in that core rulebook. On the system side of things, I'm also uh, going to lean kind of in the middle of the road here. Um, the system itself is 3 out of 5 silver. It's a perfectly reasonable OSR hack, but there's nothing to sink your teeth into. So if you like OSR stuff, it's going to be great. If you like rolling d20s and adding small modifiers, it's going to be great. If you like a little bit more complexity, uh, it, it has some shortcomings there. Themes, though, it's going to have another opportunity to shine. 5 out of 5 silver on this. It knows what it wants to be. It's not going to be for everyone, but if you like that end of days feel, that dark fantasy, that, that heaviness, absolutely 5 out of 5. Last but not least, we have the support. Support is things like uh, 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 outside content other than that core rule book. We're going to give it a 4 out of 5. It doesn't have VTT support, especially right now for things like Roll20. 
um, in February of 2022, January, February, where we're in right now. It There's no Roll20 support, no real VTT support to speak of, but it does have a super robust third-party content creation program. Really great license that way. So it gets high marks because it's really fostering its community there. So what's the final haul? Out of 25 possible pieces of silver, Morkborg is going to net 20 or a letter grade of B. All right, so this video hopefully gives you an idea of if you should play Morkborg or not. A little brief concept of the system. We go more into depth on this system in a how to play video that you can find right here on the channel. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Uh, we have a lot of great content and different playlists all centered around getting you into more RPGs and making those games better. We also have our very own Morkborg adventure, Seven Aboard the Shackle, written by yours truly. It centers around a prison ship adrift upon the endless sea, commandeered by seven escaped prisoners and hell-bent on drowning what remains of the world in profanity. Think of it as a prison crawl through a randomly generated massive galleon version of Arkham Asylum. It's crazy. It's it's live on Kickstarter now if you're watching this video in January or February of 2022. Uh, if you're watching this from the far future, you can likely find it on our website, wogd.com. Finally, we have a podcast. It's called Geeks Can't, and it features myself and a few buddies chatting about topics that come up at our gaming tables, Kickstarters, RPG news, and interviewing creators by the dozens. Go give us a listen if podcasts are your thing. It's also recorded live right here on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook every week. Until then, we'll see you next time.